Passage du Goy is a submersible causeway in France. Imagine living on an island and the only road that connects it to the mainland and it's filled with water every time the tide. This is what happened to them once the French residing in the island. Passage du Goy is a submersible causeway in the Bay of Borgneuf, linking the island of Noirmoutier to the mainland in the department of Vendée, in France. In 1971 a bridge was built to cross the 700-meter gap between the Isle de Noirmoutier and the mainland, before that there were only two ways to reach the island, either by boat or via the Passage du Gois. This uneven stone-paved causeway was first used during the 16th century as the Bay de Borgneuf gradually silted up. Today the causeway attracts thousands of visitors a year to watch the twice daily, it remains flooded under 1.3 to 4 meters of water and cannot be used an uncovering of the 4.5 kilometers of road as it miraculously appears from the sea during the ebbing tide. Visitors come to walk, cycle or drive across the goys, from the local Papua goys or meaning to wade, the locals also come to fish by foot, especially at low spring tides when the vast expanses of sand which are rich in all manner of shellfish are exposed. People went on foot over the sandbanks to the island of Neuermutier. Much later they have made a paved road. In those days a lot of accidents took place, because of the quickly rising water. This is the reason why rescue piles have been built. Anyone who is surprised by the rapidly rising water can climb in one of these rescue piles. The last strengthening of the causeway took place in 1924. The causeway also attracts a lot of shell seekers. They are looking for the edible shells. With low tide you will see the French on the sea banks with their head to the ground in search of all sort of edible sea shells, which they will be eating at lunch with a delicious glass of the local white wine. Since June 1987 once a year Les Foulets du Gois takes place. This race is on foot against the rising water. Thousands of runners participate in this big event, but very unusual, the professionals athletes are the last to start. The causeway also attracts a lot of shell seekers. They are looking for the edible shells. With low tide you will see the French on the sea banks with their head to the ground in search of all sort of edible sea shells, which they will be eating at lunch with a delicious glass of the local white wine. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.